When you are purchasing the largest investment you will probably ever make, there are some insurance products you will want to consider. In fact, you may discover that some types of insurances are required by your lender in order to obtain a home mortgage. But what are these types of insurances and what exactly do they do anyway? Stay with me as we answer these questions. Hi, I'm Kathy Delano with the Old Mill Group, a local real estate agency in the Raleigh, Durham, and surrounding areas. Thank you for joining me today. There are actually a few types of insurances you might need when you buy a home. Let's take a look at the different coverages. First is homeowner's insurance. Most lenders will require you to have homeowner's insurance. The insurance policy covers hazards that occur to your home, contents, and loss of use. Contained within your policy is liability insurance for accidents at home or by the homeowner. Now, let's talk about private mortgage insurance. Also known as PMI, private mortgage insurance is an insurance policy that a lender requires if you are paying less than 20% in your down payment. This allows your lender the confidence they need that you can afford your mortgage despite a lower down payment. After a certain amount of equity is built up on your loan, you may be able to request the removal of the PMI portion of your payment. Check with your lender for more information. Also, if you would like more information about private mortgage insurance, be sure to check out this video here. An obscure, less talked about policy is title insurance. Mortgage title insurance protects the lender's lien right and the owner's title insurance protects the owner's equity. It is there to protect against any liens or claims to the property that might arise later after closing that a title search may not have found. Unlike home insurance or private mortgage insurance, there is not a monthly charge. There is only one premium for each, one for mortgage title insurance and a small fee for owner's title insurance. These one-time charges are included as part of your closing costs. Up next is flood insurance. If your new home is located in a high-risk flood zone, your mortgage lender will require you to have flood insurance. If the property has some risk of flooding but isn't considered to be in a high-risk area, then it will typically be up to you to decide whether you want that added protection. Before going under contract, be sure to check with your real estate expert and a trusted insurance agent to see if the property is in a flood zone and what the costs are for that insurance. Also, remember that if your home is impacted by flooding, your normal homeowner's insurance will likely not cover related damages. The amount of insurance you will be considering may seem overwhelming, but ultimately having the right coverage will prevent the heartache of being unprotected from unforeseen circumstances. When in doubt, talk to your home buying team, your real estate expert, your closing attorney, and your trusted insurance agent about all of the specific coverages to get you all on the same page. If you would like more information detailing the home buying process, tune in to the next video. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new content as it becomes available. Thanks for watching.